Hey there, it's Elizabeth, and welcome back to another Your Creative Studio unboxing. Yes, I'm not really sure which one this is, <laughs> but I will have the links below to Your Creative Studio, and please go check them out. They are, it is a subscription box to Vintage Themed Ephemera. Okay, and they just have beautiful, beautiful items. I did get this a bit ago and I'm opening it late, but better late than never. Okay, let's just come on now, Elizabeth. Oof. Okay. So that it everything comes just packaged so nicely, and you can use every single bit of the packaging. That's one of the things, aside, of course, from their beautiful items, that I really enjoy about this company. Uh, things come quickly. They, Amanda is great to work with. And so, yes, please check out the links below. So let's get started. Even the box itself you can use, and of course I do use, um, to put ephemera in to just hold all of your stuff in one spot. And everything is themed. So here's the little thank you card. I usually put this in my... Oh... I usually put it in my journal, but, um, on this card, their business card, their thank you card, this gives you a hint of what is inside the box. So this tells me, and I think Amanda told me in her uh, message that it was art themed. So how fun is that? Okay. Put that up there. And again, like, oh, I love that. That came off nicely. <laughs> the, the, um, tissue paper that they use is beautiful. Uh, I just love these boxes. I've been getting them now for, well, they have been blessing me with them for probably a year, I think. And I just, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. And it's all sorts of things. That's the other thing that I love about it is that, you know, it's ephemera, it's uh, stamps, stickers, papers, just all sorts of things. Like you could literally take this one box and make an entire journal out of the ephemera, you you know, you utilizing the ephemera that they send to you along, of course, with a handmade journal or whatever the case is, you know, they don't give you a journal, but, but all the stuff in it, you could definitely use to create a beautiful journal. So the first thing up is uh, these vellum stickers, black and white, beautiful. And a cling stamp. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. And again, utilizing everything, right? I could easily peel off this sticker and use it somewhere else, you know, as, as ephemera. And the little um, craft, you know, envelopes that they give you, definitely, yes. So how cute are those? Let's see if I can show you up closer. Look at that. A hand with a paintbrush. That's beautiful. I plan on doing some painting later. So look at that. Whoops. Can you see that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Love that. Love that. So I'll put those up there. And uh, yeah, those are beautiful. And their stamps are very intricate. Now you do need to prime them, you know, which means like, you stick them on the ink pad and you uh, stamp them a few times, you know, to get them primed. But beautiful. This is um, washi tape. So let's see here. I do like to try to keep these intact as much as possible. <laughs> well, it might be tedious for you guys. I'm sorry, but okay. So let's see. This is like a, an orangey kind of washi. And you do get a fair amount, which is nice, which is nice. That's the one thing. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's like little paint brushes and that's very pretty. That's the one thing I, when I was mentioning before, you just, it's a really nice subscription box because you get a little bit of a lot of things. Okay if that makes sense. So here's another cling stamp. Oh, 
nice. Oh, two. Okay. Let me put this up here. <gasps> Look at that. That's so cool. An easel, that would be so beautiful on a tag. Oh, look. Nice, nice, nice. We'll put those up there. <gasps> what is this? What is this? What is this? Peel the individual stamp from backing. Stick it to an acrylic block for stamping. For better stamping results, please use force evenly across the entire stamp or a soft mat. Okay. This comes, okay, again with the packaging, this comes with a Ziploc. It's a Ziploc little bag. How cute would that be in a journal, right? Yes, okay. Now, this is interesting, okay. Let's see if I can, surely I can get these out. Okay, look at that. All types of different paintbrushes, marks, 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 splats, Palette knife, you know, lines, paintbrush, dip pen, and they're all rubber stamps. That is so cool. And again, would be super cool on, well, anything really, but because they're smaller, you know, to put on a tag or something just at the bottom. Nice. That is, that's fantastic. I mean, that's interesting. I've never seen them send anything like that. Boy, a lot of stamps in this one. Nice. Okay, here's another cling stamp. Come on out. Don't be shy. Two more cling stamps. Okay, that, oh, that is a paint palette. And, the, oh, look at that. And a watercolor palette. Wow. That's really really nice. Okay. We'll just put these up here with these. Nice. My goodness. I mean, look at all those stamps. If you were to go to like a big box store or something like that, you would pay tons of money. Okay. Tons of money for, I bet for what it costs for this whole subscription box, that's what you'd have to probably pay to get all those rubber stamps. I don't know. I don't really shop at the big box store. So anyway, okay. Let's see what this is. This, oh, paper ephemera. Okay, so there are lots of little bits in here, but let's let's just see if we can pick out some of the bigger bits. Okay, it's like ephemera as far as like, they have paintbrushes. Oh, this is so cute. They have, um, and these are like chipboard, sorry, chipboard. But beautiful vintage style, right? Little tags. Oh, those are gorgeous. Those are beautiful. Little watercolor palettes. Let me just put these down. Sorry, my hands are shaky this morning. Beautiful to put on anything. Oh, those are gorgeous. And like little, they have little ones too. Little flowers, just banners, just a whole bunch of stuff. Paint brushes. This is a little uh, ink pot or paint, you know, paint pot. So cute. Those are very pretty. Very pretty indeed. And everything is fine quality, let me tell you. It is. It really is. I have not, I have never seen a box that I didn't like. <gasps> oh, look at this. Forever daytime. Okay, so this is just, these, not just, these are ephemera pieces, right? Um, let's see, here's a little bit of twine. I just keep having to get up and down, that's okay. I'm not sure. These are stickers, vellum stickers, right? So you get a bunch of those. I don't know, Some they might be all stickers, I'm not sure. Nope, that's paper. But beautiful little ephemera pieces. Oh, look at that BW. That is adorbs. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Look at that. That's beautiful. Just for layering and stuff. Cash receipt. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So beautiful. 
I'm just so thankful and grateful that they they choose to bless me with these. Um, this is lovely. Okay, again, with the packaging, you can literally use every single bit of this, okay? So in here are a bunch of stamps, right? Stickers. These are sticker stamps, and there are a load of them, right? Again, like, I mean, it would... It is just cost effective, <laughs> if you ask me, because again, they send you so many things, but you know, you're not overwhelmed really, <laughs> you know, by like 500 stamps or whatever, you know what I mean? And there are a couple, you know, like two of each or whatever. These are great for layering as well. But then look at this here. It's a postcard. It's not a real one. It's a replica, you know, but you can use this, you know, back this with a piece of coffee dye paper or pink paper or whatever paper you want and Bob's your uncle. And uh, that is so cool. Postmark 1962. I mean, you know, in my opinion, like I don't really, I mean, I love vintage stuff. Don't get me wrong. But for me, I, a lot of times I have a hard time using real vintage stuff, <laughs> you know, I mean, sometimes I don't, sometimes I don't have a problem with it, but sometimes I do. And it's like when you have stuff like this, that's just, that is a, a replica of it, you know, then I don't feel so bad. Uh, I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but it makes sense to me. Okay. And then this, let's see what this is something notes. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I should have brought you guys down further, but I want it. I want you guys to be able to see everything. Right. But okay. These are no, some, okay. So these are just papers, strips of paper, but great for layering. Okay. And they're, you know, I mean, for me, they're like a reddish tone with green fantastic for vintage Christmas. That's what I would use it for, but very nice. I like that. Okay. We'll put that over there and then let's see what this is. Again, always packaged nicely. You can use every bit of everything, right? Including the bag, sorry for the glare that they come in because, you know, if you're sending out happy mail or whatever the case is, you know, this whole thing, like this is a craft paper pocket. I would stick this right into my journal, you know, and use it as such. I would use it as a pocket. And then inside here are a variety of papers. Look how beautiful that is. And the paper quality is really, really nice. Really nice. For, look at that. Like another postcard type thing advertising again these are all replicas but does it really matter i love it i love it and i'd rather have a replica in all honesty than you know using up real vintage receipts and all of that i am all for oh look at that it's like mulberry paper that's beautiful this is too i'm all for you know you don't think i'm against using vintage items <laughs> i'm not uh, but if I could use a replica, sometimes I would rather do that. And then these are paper, but fantastic again for layering. Look at that. Oh, that's cute. Huh? These are stickers. I believe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe they have the rest of the week. I'm not sure. Little circular. Yep. Thursday. Sunday, I'm assuming it's the whole week. So very nice. That's cute. And then more labels. So super cute. And then, like I said, you can use them. I would stick this in a journal, at, you know, on a page. So let's get these two final things out. We'll just put that right there. Okay. This right here is tissue paper. No, it says masking tape but I don't think that's correct. So 
Let's just see. I think it's tissue. Yeah, this is tissue paper. And if you can see it without the glare, it's paint tubes, I think. Yeah, paint tubes. That's really pretty to use as a background for something. Very nice. Let's see if I can get it back in there. Come on. Work with me. Okay. All right. That is super nice. And then this is the last. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. Okay. I love it when they do this. Okay, it contains six different designs, I believe, but it's six of sticker paper, six vellum paper, six art paper, and six pattern paper. Yes, okay. I love it when they do this, I really do. <laughs> and how gorgeous is that? Okay, let me get to the back here. That right there, beautiful tag for journaling, right? Beautiful tag. Back it with something if you want. Leave it just the way it is, whatever the case. Use this as a journaling tag in your book. Use it as a topper for the top of a journal. I mean, so many different uses, and it, it's just so beautiful. So let's see here. Okay, this is the sticker paper, right? So you can peel this whole back off. You can just, you can cut these things out, whatever. You know, the world is your oyster with these boxes. Isn't that beautiful? Sticker paper. Here's another design sticker paper. That's beautiful sticker paper. I don't know if I can fit all of these in the same frame or, or not. Uh-oh, my husband's sneezing. This is sticker paper, so that's the fourth design. Isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Fifth design. Sixth design, okay? Then you get to, this could be the artist paper, I'm not sure. So you get the same, you know, designs again in artist paper. And then this is thinner paper, right? Yeah, so this is the artist paper. And then this is the, I don't know what they call it, craft paper maybe, but same design, same six designs, but just in different paper. Gorgeous. I love these colors so much. The teals and oranges and blues, so beautiful. And then I love this. You get the vellum. How pretty would that be as an overlay? Oh my goodness. As a side, a tuck, you know, a pocket or something in your journal. Yep, so I love the vellum so much. So lots of vellum pieces, well, six in, in all of the different designs. So that is beautiful. And that takes us to the end of the box. So I hope you guys can see just how much stuff you get with these beautiful boxes, you know, I mean, and some of everything, you know what I mean? So like I said, you could take, you know, this, layer it up with all these different embellishments, you know, stamp some stamps on it, add something like this to it, uh, you know, layer it up and make it a tag in your journal. And, you know, I mean, so beautiful and so many different things, just so many different things. So to your creative studio, I say thank you very much. And I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you could see everything and get a feel. You can use this. You can use everything in the box. Everything, I tell you. And really great quality. Just beautiful. I really, really enjoy these boxes so much. So I hope you check out your creative studio down below. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and a wonderful week. And I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.